Hey, this is Tony Ross for BigBlockBooks.com, and I hope you're enjoying our free course on how to create your own children's interactive ebook. And if you haven't started, go ahead and jump in. It's just a little over 30 minutes, and in that short time, I can show you how you can create your own ebook in as little as a weekend, or maybe even just a day. Now, if you have actually finished this course, I've got some great news for you. This is going to be the first in a series on other things you can do inside a pub coder. And again, without writing a single line of code. So the first up video, how do you add video to a EPUB three or ebook or an app? Now I know what you're thinking. Video can be a little bit tricky and file sizes and all the other weird stuff. Well, Trust me when I tell you, I, I know how you feel because that was my job. I worked in internet advertising and it was my job to make sure that the video online looks just as good as what you'd see on TV. And that can be a little bit tricky, especially when you're dealing with some major corporations. But guess what? PubCoder makes all of this a lot easier for you. You can just drag in a video and get it to play and even add controls if we want. But enough small talk, let's get started. So in my document here, I have some simple text that says, should I bring flowers on a date? And I have a little video here and a player as well. So I'm gonna click on preview. And what I've set up is if I click directly on the video, Hi, Woody. Oh, hi. Big bye, Dave. Yeah. If I click again, it'll stop the video. And I even have a play button in here at the bottom. Flowers. Anne won't expect flowers, will she? Huh? And last but not least, I also have controls. Oh, I hardly think so. I'm thinking these to Mary because it's a special occasion. Okay. So let me show you how all of this is done. So here's our first page. I'm going to go to the next page I have set up. I just have my text here. And what I want to do is go to objects, come down to video. I'm going to just drag this straight onto my page. We'll make this a little bit larger. Now I already have the video imported, but I do want to show you how you can bring in some more video. Now I already have a video imported, but I want to show you how to do that. Under assets, I can come down to this little plus sign here, click that once, and I can simply click on our example MP4 here and click open. Now once that's done, what you want to do is click directly on this little arrow here and make sure you select include asset in package. This basically means when you get your book ready to export or your app ready to export, there's going to be no problem with that. Okay. Now for the second one, since it's just a duplicate, I'm going to go ahead and delete this for now. And it'll ask, do I want to do that? Yes. Remove. And what I'll do for this one is I'm going to simply drag this straight here. And you see that there's this outlying area. That's basically the video block I made. It's a little bit larger than the movie. So I'm just going to drag, drag on one of the sides here until it lines up perfectly. If I bring it in too small, it'll start sizing with that also. So I've got it at the right size. And what I want to do is make sure that this is centered. So I'm going to go up here to my align area. Just click on center right there. And I can even make sure it's vertically as well as horizontally centered. So click here, looks good. And I think I'll do the same thing with the text. So I'll click here, I want to center that. Now, if you look, this should be centered, but it looks a little bit off from the movie. 
The reason is that this little box is a little bit larger than what it needs to be. So let's drag that in and I'll go to a line and center it once more. Okay. Now, if we play this, the video is not going to do anything just yet. Okay. So even if we click on it, nothing's happening and there are no controls. So let's change that. So I'm going to select the video. And under selection, I'm going to scroll all the way down and I'll click on playback controls. So we'll preview this again. And now if I play this. Hi, Woody. Oh, hi. Big bite, eh? Yeah. Flowers. All right. Now, if I click directly on the video, nothing's happening. So I'm going to close this out. And maybe instead of doing the playback controls, I'll turn this off. I have my video selected. I'm going to go to interactivity. And what I want to have selected is touch down, meaning if it's touched on or clicked on, that's when we want it to play. So when we come down here, click on our plus sign to add an action. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. or close to the bottom. And what I want to find is play video. But instead of just playing, I want to do play and pause. Which basically means if we click on the video, it'll start playing. If we click again, it'll stop playing. So let's preview. And I'll click. Hi, Woody. Oh, hi. Big bad, eh? Yeah. And once I click again, it pauses the video. Flowers. Anne won't expect flowers, will she? All right. And we've got that going pretty good. Now let's add one extra thing. How do we control this? Let's say if we have our own image or our own button we want to bring in. So I'm going to close this out. And I'll go to Objects. Now click over a image holder. And I want to double click and I want to just do an import from the internet here. And this is from the noun project. So I'm going to type in play and just hit return. Okay. So what I'm looking for is a decent button here that's actually already in public domain. That way I don't have to worry about anything. So I just click this one here, double click. And I want to import the PNG. And it says done. All right, so there's our button. So I'm going to click and drag this down because I want the button to be a little smaller than that. And maybe I'll set it at center as well. Come here and do an align. Looks good. And what I want to do now is make sure, because right now this is just an image, but let's go to interactivity and we have it set to touch down by default. Click our little plus and we'll have this play our video. Now, if you look, there's some other options here. We can say, one, what video is it talking about? Play full screen, play from the beginning. And I think we're just going to leave it at default for now. So I click on preview. And if I click this little arrow. Hi, Woody. Oh, hi. Big bad, eh? Yeah. Flowers. Anne won't expect flowers, will she? Huh? All right, so we've now brought that in and I want to do one extra little thing here. Uh, should I bring flowers? I've gone in, if you double click on this text, I went in and made this a certain color. Okay, so what I want to do is make this little arrow the same color. 
So with that selected, I'll go to Selection. And I'll come down here, and I can select Color Overlay. And I'll double-click here. Look at the colors, and it's showing me the recent colors I was using. So there's that little purple color. I'll click on OK. And now I've actually given that play button a color. Even though it was imported in black and white, we did a color overlay because it's realizing that the PNG file has transparent areas in there. So it's not going to color the whole thing, but just where the button is. And there you have it. Now, you can get a little more complex, but basically that's how you can bring video into PubCoder. So imagine that you've got video in for a test, or maybe you're doing a quick video on how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Maybe you have several videos and you can have different buttons for each one controlling that. So these are just some of the things you can play around with to make your book more interactive. Now, in the next video coming up, I'm going to show you some other interactive things that aren't covered in our free course. And again, if you haven't actually gone all the way through the course, check it out. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you'd like to see in the upcoming lessons. Now, if you have any questions or comments, hey, you like this or hey, this part was confusing, feel free to leave comments in the section right below and I'll be responding to those. And if you want to see anything extra, also let us know. If you go to bigblockbooks.com, we also have one-on-one -on -one training. If you've already gone through the course and you need some help with something, you can reach out to me for our one-on-one -on -one training and you can book me for either 30 minutes or an hour, and I will go with you step-by-step step on how to work with some of the things in PubCoder that aren't covered in the course. So keep an eye out. We're going to be releasing some more tutorials, as well as we've got our advanced series coming out in a few days. So this has been Tony Ross for Big Block Books. Remember, keep it simple. Make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea. Have a good one.